Hey Floss Tube, welcome back to my channel for Floss Tube number 22. If you're new, welcome. I hope you join me every Friday for stitchy updates. Um, if you're already a subscriber, welcome back. Thank you for watching. Um, Fridays is all about, I say all about stitching, it's not, but mostly stitching and then anything else I happen to have been up to during the week which is normally quite a lot um the last week has been really boring the weather's been absolutely naff it's I think rained most of the last week only today are we now seeing some sunshine as you can tell but it's in it's out it's in it's out so um yeah nothing exciting apart from Tyler rushing off to school yesterday to fetch a laptop that they're letting him loan while he's working from home. And even though he fetched it, they haven't set it up. So we are currently waiting for the IT tech people to get in touch with us because we can't install Microsoft Teams on it, which is what it was for. I don't know if everyone else is having the same issue with theirs, but Tyler is, so at the moment it's just sitting there not being used, and it was a waste of a trip really, but apart from that, I've just been the usual house of work, as you do when you've got kids and, um, and animals, and crafting really, mostly stitching, bit of knitting, and looking online at wool, because I need some more wool. Paula gave me a website in an email and it's absolutely full of wool that I really, really want. Don't really need, but really, really want. They're all amazing. Some of them are so soft and like velvety and it's just... Paula said it's okay, we'll be broke together. <laughs> so let's crack on with what I've been up to, shall we? The first thing that I... Not necessarily first, but... The first thing I worked on this week was my Linen and Threads Mystery Sampler Cell um, by Fox and Rabbit Designs. And I'm still working on April. Yeah, April. I actually have to go and download it again because I can't find it. And it's all of this in the dark red. I didn't do too much last week, but this week, I don't know, I seem to have um, pulled my finger out a little bit, shall we say. So, this is, let me sort of get it in the light. Yeah, I'll go this side. Last week, I think I had like three segments on this side and these three on this side to finish. So I went ahead and finished them. And then... Yeah, I have to look at its face on. It looks different in the case, even though it's symmetrical, it looks different. Then I did the branches going up here and here and filled in all this in the middle. I'm actually not far off finished. I think there's just this little sprout right here that needs to be finished. And then I can move on to May. So we'll give you a full on look at the whole thing. I'm still loving it, although sometimes I don't feel like picking it up. That's not because I don't like it. It's just you have a certain mood, don't you? You've got a certain project that works for that type of mood, and that's been me. Like last week, it was not a hey, once upon a fairy tale week. I have more than made up for that this week. Um... But I will show you that in a minute. I next want to show you the next thing I worked on, which is let's turn it that way. My long dog samplers pandemic chart that they were giving out for free for a while. I made sure I was in there. And I've been working this corner here, just around there. I can't quite remember where I was last week when you saw it. 
just get me thread out the way, that'll help. But if my memory serves me correctly, this is where I am now. I'd done all of this and I'd done the, this bird thing here. Ella says it looks like a hot dog. <laughs> She's sitting over there stitching her long dog sandbird at the minute, but she she was talking to me. She said, oh, I've done the hot dog. And I went, there's not a hot dog in it. She says, yeah, there is. Look right there. It's a bird. So, yeah. <laughs> there, I think, I'm not sure if I'd started this when you saw it last week, but I certainly carried it on if I had. And I'm still liking it shows up a lot better on camera than it does when I look at it. You know, when you stitch and you can sort of see the background through your stitches, that's what I mean. On camera, they don't show. Unless it's just because, you know, my face is all up in it when I'm stitching, but that's progress this week. Progress has been good. Then the next thing I worked on, let me get back to pattern keeper. I have issues. This is what I've been working on. This is Riley's. It's from Tilton Crafts and it is the Avengers Endgame chart. I'm trying to tell it so you don't get any, you know, glare or background on it. But that's it anyway. It's, like I said, it's a Tilton Crafts chart. Whoops. This, I forgot to say. My Long Dog Sampler is on 22 count white, even weave. It's not Ada, it's even weave. I'm starting to know the different. I've only ever stitched on Ada. So all these, like, different even weaves and linens and stuff is still fairly new to me. But I'm getting used to even weave. I really... I really like even weave. My, this one, linen threads, that's stitched on 20 count. That is Ada. And then Riley's. I apologise, you can see where the hoop's been. I am not going to iron all of these every time I get them out. A girl has enough ironing to do already, doesn't she? Right. I forget where I was on this last week as well. But I've been filling in. I'd done, I think, all of this black. And I've done, then like this week, I've, like, done some here and moved across and done these. And now I've started the 939s, which is, like, filling in all this black, uh, all this space. <laughs> Words fail me sometimes, you know. Um, I have noticed I'm not the only one, that, you know. So that's good. Now, on camera, again, like my long dog sampler, it doesn't show, like, the space between the stitches. Not even, no, sort of. You can sort of see that, can't you? And that's my issue. I don't like it. You know, when you're stitching on something, you just don't like how it's coming out. This is on 22 count. I think this is Ada. It looks completely different to that. Yeah. I lost the clip. Oh, well. Because um, this is stitched one over one on 22 count. And if I til tilt it this way, you can sort of see, like, it peaks, the background peaks through a little bit between the stitches. And I'm just... Do I persevere and hope that the overall thing doesn't look too bad? Or do I stop now? Change my fabric, maybe for an 18 count? 18. I worked two over two when I did Ellie's. Hold on, let me show you. Because that was on 18 count. And I did two over two. And although it was a little bit bulky. I can't get it out. Everything else comes out as well. And although it was a little bit bulky. 
I didn't mind. Whoa. So if I just pull it in a little bit closer, it's 18 count and it is two over two, but it wasn't overly bulky. Like I didn't have problems pulling the needle through between when I've got like three or four stitches in one square, you know? I know, I've still got to frame it. <laughs> she keeps reminding me. So I'm, I'm undecided now what to do because I don't know if I am going to be happy with it at the end. Help me out, guys. What would you do? Ellie's saying she'd stop. So you can see it now. Now I've pulled it back a little bit. That you can see. I can see it from here. Exactly. You can see the background fabric. And I don't like it. What would you guys do? Would you persevere and carry on? In the hope that it'll look okay at the end? Sorry, I need to cut my fringe. It's poking me in the eyes. <laughs> or would you change? Perhaps it doesn't matter to anyone else do you know what I mean some people are happy with that you're happy with that you would be <laughs> um I don't know let me know what you guys think leave it and carry on or restart it like I said it's on 22 count and that is Ada I can tell I know it ain't gonna bother Riley yeah, Riley's just... Anyway, uh, the Avengers, I did 563 stitches in the last week. So that was pretty good. Sorry, excuse me. Then the last thing I did stitching-wise, tab it goes and locks, is naughty really because I didn't touch two of my others. I don't know which way is best to shut. That way is better. This is my Once Upon a Fairy Tale by Amy Stewart, charted by Heaven and Earth Designs. And I'm up in this corner working my way across. I am actually doing these few pages right there. This is 25 count easy grid even weave fabric. It's a mouthful, I tell you. Anyway, I have done... Now, you'll be impressed because last week I didn't touch it at all. This week, yeah, I got it right way. I did 1,378 stitches. Go me. How many? <laughs> 1,378. It's impressive considering I did none last In week. In how long? A week. <laughs> Since last Friday. I don't think I touched it Friday. I think I touched it just the rest of the week. Now, I feel like when I show you guys, you can't really see a major difference. Considering there's 1,300 stitches plus. Anyway, I have, whoops, been filling in. No, nope, let's go that way. That's better. This tree. I will get it to stay. This tree thing here, there's been a lot of browns and greys. And then I've also gone along and I've filled in. Yeah, there's the arch. I've been filling in some more of this blue sky. And down into her and her dress, which has then obviously migrated over to here as well, which is a page I wasn't really working on, but apparently I am now. And I've also been filling in. Light is awful. There you go. You can see like this striping effect on the roofs. Roofs. I've been filling in some of them little stitches that are missing. You can actually tell because these are quite a few spaces last week. No, the week before because I didn't touch it last week. So overall, it's looking amazing. I don't know if I sh showed you. There's another owl appearing right here. Just to like the outline of it. Oh, right. Ellie's having a nosy too. Sort of, yeah. So yeah, that's going to get some more work this week. I've actually, you know when you take a break and then you pick something back up and you just feel better because you've took that break from something that was so big and <laughs> getting on your nerves anyway do you want to show yours 
she hasn't really done much this week. I don't think she's felt like it. But she was put off by a mistake she made and realised 36 or so stitches later and then she gave it me and walked off. <laughs> so I had to, yeah, yeah. So I had to fix it for her. And she's still got my frame. She'd actually done, was it three of those? It was, wasn't it? And she'd actually done them one stitch too far that way. So it didn't line up here. So I then had to unpick those three. <laughs> and the five. And put them back in. So what she's actually working on now, she's actually taking it a few more stitches this way. And she asked me the other day, something like, how did I know how many to go across? She didn't realise there were actually grids on her chart until I showed her. She went, I wondered why that line was slightly darker. <laughs> and then she's come down here. She hasn't done too much. Hers is on 14 count. Um, mine's on 22. And then one of my subscribers, Paula, is working on 18, I think she said. So she says, between us, we're doing a small, which is mine, a medium, which is Paula's, and a large, because it comes out bigger. But Paula's looks amazing. Oh, my gosh. So, yeah, that's Ellie's. There you go. I can't show you, because it's... Yes, I can. Can I? I have to... No, it's not that one. Oh, no, I can't. I haven't set that one up on my tablet. I'll tell you what, I'll show you next week because Paula chose to do a sulky variegated thread. But I think she said someone said it wasn't supposed to be variegated, but it was like chocolatey brown and it like gets lighter and darker. Oh, my goodness. I was so jealous. It looks amazing. Anyway, that's it stitching wise with whips and projects and stuff. Now the knitting. Now, I was hoping to have this finished by last Friday for my grandson that will be born in October. But I didn't, for whatever reason. I just put it down and couldn't be bothered to pick it back up again. Well, it's not for whatever reason. It's because I messed up three times in one day. Anyway. Look. How cute! <laughs> All I've got to do is put six buttons on it because it's a double-breasted jacket. Six buttons and there you go, the collar that I couldn't do three times over. How cute is that? And back. And then to top it off, I've started way another one. And I did make a mistake. Anyway. My problem, you know when you've got not, not so much a technical pattern, but it is a bit of, you've got to think when you're doing your rows. Mm. When it's telling me to decrease, which I have done, it's remembering how the pattern changes because it's not like, You'd normally do knit three, purl one, knit three. It's You're missing stitches at the beginning because you've actually decreased. So it's remembering how to get... Yeah. I'm not a bad knitter. I just struggle when it's technical. And I did make a little boo-boo going across the top. These top three rows, I think, are slightly different. But you can't tell. Not too much. So that's my current cardigan. The top's going to be now in stocking stitch. And that'll be the back. I actually did this pattern once before when my sister had Corbin and he is 11 now. She's still got the cardigan. She won't throw it. She's put it, actually put it in her attic, I do believe now. Um, that's it for projects. I haven't touched my Felicia this week, my Haid. And I also haven't touched my Geisha. I need some more hoops. Talking of hoops, I had a little bit of a little bit of haul this week, just a little bit. Some of those were threads for Riley's to carry on with that. Which you don't want to know, they're only DMC. And then 
because a certain young lady has pinched my frame now, I went and bought this. Now this one, let's drop it down. I don't have to have the hoop. It's not like Ellie's. You could, you, if you want to change projects, you've got to take it out the hoop and put the new project in. This one, I can just put my hoop in there. Screw that down. And I can uh, just... £23, I think, off of eBay. But you know what? It's awesome. And I like the fact it doesn't have the attached hoop. Although I got a little overzealous with it. That's my little hoop there. I have a little, yeah, I have a little hoop. Which I quite like, actually, because it just gives me a little area to work. And when I'm doing, like, my linen and thread sal, I like it because it's just i've got the little piece of the little piece of uh, fabric i need to stitch on just in there but i got a little overzealous with my frame can you see the the damage right there i screwed the top down too tight that damaged me hoop so because i want it to Rather than sit on top of the frame here, I wanted it to dip inwards because I've started putting my hoops on back to front. So you've got the dip in here. Just because when you're sewing in the ends on the back, you're not butting up against the frame. So that's what I've been doing with this one. Anyway, when it goes in there, and you screw the top down, it tends to sit Ooh, stay down I don't know if you can see it doesn't quite go inside the hoop that's actually just sitting on the edge so what I did it was actually on the frame a lot worse than that before I took my little craft knife and I just chiseled a, a bit of the uh, bottom away you can actually tell because it leans inwards now and I just want to take a tiny bit more I've marked where the back is which will sit against my hoop so I'm going to take a tiny bit more off this side in the hope that it will just sit and if I stick to the same hoops it will sit just just inside there like that this could go horribly wrong you know but <laughs> you can buy these anyway can't you this is wood right another thing that I don't understand my other one's not the same it's all wood this is plastic I suppose it's good because I can chisel it away then but and this is plastic whatever who cares <laughs> but it would have looked nicer as well wool wood because I was just looking at my cardigan. Never mind. Anyway, that is it for this week. Although that was quite a lot for me. Especially the um, Once Upon a Fairy Tale. Did so well with that this week. Um, I haven't touched anything else. No. No. And me just sitting there thinking about it. it's just driving me nuts so thank you for joining me thank you for watching i hope you like the video so you'll come back again next week and every friday after that to check on my progress so we can have a bit of a chat and i'll show you what progress i've made on all my crafts not just my stitching i like to share everything um i still haven't bought the wool yet for the blanket I've got to find four different greys. Four. I'll get there. I will get there. Anyway, subscribe if you haven't already. Hit the like button if you like the video. Thank you to everyone who's liked my videos before. It is very much appreciated. Um, 
any comments, any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments section. I love reading comments. I like knowing what you guys have been up to. Me and Paula, we've kind of built up quite the friendship over her email. She sends me her pictures. I send, well, I don't need to send her mine because she sees my videos, but yeah, we kind of have a bit of a, a friendship, go, a good friendship going on. I like to think so anyway. She sends me tips on good websites for wool or stitching or, but anyway, um, if you watch my whip and chats, there'll be one as usual next Wednesday. If you don't, you only like the flash tube, then I will see you on Friday. But whatever you do, take care, stay safe, and I will catch you next week. Bye, guys.